How's life here in Sassau? Much the same as in Scarlet's. That is, before everything. It's quieter now. Most of the work has been done, and everyone is waiting to see what the harvest will be like. Then everyone will be on their feet from dawn to dusk. I pray it'll be a good harvest. So we have supplies for winter, and enough to seed in spring. God's truth. A couple of bad harvests and we'd be in danger of famine. Well, let's hope it will be good. Every grain counts. Especially now, with all sorts of bandits roaming the country. And a great army, too. I hope Sir Radzik and Sir Hannes get it all sorted out before the harvest. If those marauders carry on, they'll plunder the whole province. And then where will we be? The best thing would be to hide the supplies. Bury them underground, so the bandits don't find them. But what if they threaten the villagers? Most people would be happier to give up their supplies than have their farms burnt down or their livestock herded off. Now, livestock can be hidden in the woods. Pa told me about it once. Maybe. But you can't hide a farmhouse. Or whole families. What if they take your children and threaten to cripple them? Or the farmers? You can't do much work in the fields with your arms broken. And in the winter, it's even worse. They might as well dig your grave. Sir Radzig would never allow that to happen, though. He'd come with his garrison. And those bastards who harassed his subjects would soon be hanging from the nearest tree. I'd be happier, though, if they all moved on and left us in peace. What if they don't move on, though? Then the only answer is cold steel. You men and your endless fighting. How are things with the infirmary? Did they give you a bit more coin at least? Unfortunately not. They said there'll be no more until St. Havel's Day. But that's still a long way off. Henry, I'm a bit worried. I never spoke to people like that before. I've no idea what to say. They'll all laugh at me. For heaven's sake, Johanka, pull yourself together. The Virgin Mary visited you. Who else has been given such an honor? Stop whining here like a child and get out there and talk to the people. Stop hounding me. That's not helping at all. Oh, enough of your stupid excuses, woman. For shame. I'll show you. All right. Here goes. God be with The, <clears throat> the Virgin Mary. The Virgin Mary came to me. <laughs> in a dream and she showed me things things I've never seen before a great city a great and beautiful city it was great and beautiful with many many spires tall spires golden in the sunlight and around the city was a mighty wall all this she showed to me but then the city was suddenly engulfed in flames the earth began to shake and the gate burst open holes opened up in the ground and from them beasts of hell leapt forth. They broke down the walls and stormed the city through the broken gate. 
and the beasts hunted down all the sinners. They sank their fangs into their burning flesh and tore them to pieces mercilessly. And the sinners screamed and tried to flee them, but it was in vain. Lady appeared, Mary, the Holy Mother of God. She covered the whole city in her cloak, smothered the flames, and drove out the beasts. The penitent sinners came out of the city, knelt before the Virgin in prayer, and thanked her for their salvation. That is the vision that came to me. And I believe this message was not meant for me alone. It was a warning to us all. We are those sinners and we must once again fill those mighty walls. Not from stone or wood, but from virtue and love for our neighbor. And whoever has sinned and acted unrighteously must repent and change their ways. That last doesn't hold Isn't back. she that last? Center of attention. You saw how the fellas were gaping at her. That's exactly what she's after. I'm curious what Father Fabian will have to say about it. The king is far away and God has his own plans. But that girl seems sincere. It's a pity they don't let women in the pulpit. And you listen to your own woman, dear? Not much, truth be told. I ought to be better. But you were just talking about helping your neighbor. Oh, all right, but quickly, I beg you. It's about my husband, Ambrose, the tailor. He's good to me. He's an honest tradesman and a skilled one. But he keeps playing dice. He sits at the table late into the night, and more than once he lost a small fortune. I'd like to go and have a word with him. Oh, all right. I'll come and see you when I have some time to spare. Thank you. Thank you kindly. My word, Johanka. That speech of yours on the square. I swear I never heard anything like... Let's talk about it later. Right now I... Guta, the Sassau tailor's wife. No, I didn't. What did she want? She said she's having some trouble with her husband, Ambrose. She heard me speaking on the square and she thought maybe I could help. So... But I don't know what to tell her. Our Lady didn't prepare me for anything like that. You see what happens when you get people all fired up? You should drop the whole thing. But I must carry out the will of the Blessed Virgin. And you must help me to do it. Please, go and see the tailor's wife if you should happen to be passing. God be with you. Yeah. 
and stay out of sight. What will people think if they see... God be with you. Can we do something about the prop? What about it? Your hanker sent me. She did, but she said she'd come her. Well, she's up to her ears in work. And besides, we figured your husband wouldn't pay much attention to a woman. Hmm, I'm afraid that's true. What now, though? Well, your hanker thought it would help. If Ambrose saw how playing dice was no good either for himself... Ha! <laughs> I've been telling him off about it for years to no avail. I even took his dice several times. You won't get anywhere telling him off. Ambrose has to realise it for himself. If he lost everything he has to me... Oh, God, no. I want him to stop playing, not to lose the roof over our heads. No, don't worry. Whatever I win from him, I'll give it back to you. But first, he really has to believe he's lost everything. Do you swear, by the Virgin Mary, to give everything back? I swear I'll give back every last groschen. As the Virgin Mary is my witness. Very well, then. If you think it'll help, take him for everything he has. Where can I find Ambrose? He's not here now. He's getting ready for a trip to... No doubt he'll find... Uh, you'd better... Do you think he'll... Well, he... And if he... All right. God be with you. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> My respects to you. Good luck to you. Well, Goodman Ambrose. Yes? Is there something I could do for you? I heard you were about to leave for Kuttenberg. Aye. Sir Sebastian von Berg ordered new... I have to go and buy some fine linen. I'm taking 600 groschen to pay for it all. Ah, I see. Well, Sir Sebastian's... True indeed. I'll be on my way just to see... God be with... Let's have a drink together to pass the time while you're waiting, eh? On me. That's kind of you, lad. May the Lord... May it serve you. You look like a fellow who's been around. Tell me, what's going on in the countryside? Did you hear what happened?
Let's drink to those brave souls in Merhoyed. Aye, to their courage. And may God have mercy on them. May they rest in... So. That's right. That's nice. I'll I've never been there. That's oh, great, lad. The devil take that damn Sigismund! He's done damage enough here already! My word, lad! I'm from Scalis. Sigismund's are Ah, oh, I'm sorry. That must have been awful. Awful hardly describes it. I'd tell you about it, but first I'd have to... Then let's drink! But there was a band of brig... So it's true, then. to worry. Fortunately, I caught up with those bastards and put a stop to their pit. That's good news indeed. It was no easy matter, I can tell. Ha <laughs> ha! To your wits! Oh, it's safer in the... But we attacked them. My word. I did. The bold Henry of Scalitz. Let's have a drink to my bravery. Well, now, I had no idea I was sitting here with such a warrior. Bravery it was. Not one of them could match me in combat. Ha! <laughs> Let's drink to my sore fo- To your incompar- I rained a barrage of blood. <laughs> aye, aye, to your- But first I had to- Is that so? Sigismund's horrid. I heard la- But a lot more people would have died if I hadn't won. I took an arrow in the le- Well done. I toast you as And another thing we could that wound still hurts. We could Yes! May those bastards burn May they burn Now I asked myself, Ambrose. I asked myself In a seven? Well where else can a man find No 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 in the tavern? But why here? Because I was waiting here before something like that. But why did I do it? Was there a reason? Ah, the difference is this. Did you come here of your own free will? Or did you have a feeling you had to? Or the world would stop turning? No, I always have this really weird feeling. Like the whole world is just standing still, watching and waiting what I'll do before doing anything. Nobody as much as lifts a finger until I do. I used to have the same feeling when I was younger. It passed, though. Oh, but it makes me feel all uneasy and jittery, like there's some, right some jittery thing. And if I don't do something, then it stays the same. Everything stays the same. Nothing changes. I know what I'll help you, lad. There's nothing to it. It's easy. It's... What was it? Ah, yes! I won't drink. I won't be forced. But as it is, the world does what it wants with me, and there's nothing I can do about it. And I was... Ah, actually, fuck it. It can't get any worse. Let's fucking drink. Those are the words of a man. You'll have to prize these dice from my cold dead hand. <clears throat> I'll stick them dice in your nose and then give you such a punch to fly out your ears. I'll stick 
stick them dice in your nose and then give you some. Three sixes. <laughs> Eat um. In the lands of milk, you must God's blessings. Have you got a bed for I suppose I... For how long? How about... Hmm. Are we... You won't convince... You... Are there any... I'm looking... If they come here... You haven't heard any... Miller... Anyone else? I... I... I wasn't think... Do you have... Thank you. Not at all. Are there any... <laughs> Less... What? That's not enough. Um, the first... This... This... Dice in the... In the province. In the lands of milk, I... Three sixes.
Ambrose, you hound. What got into you yesterday? Me? Nothing. We drank a bit, all right. What? You don't remember? You got as drunk as a lord. Started shouting that you were the greatest dice... No one had the nerve to tackle you, so you insisted I had to give you a game. But you lost, and then you got really worked up and wanted to save your reputation. We ended up playing until the early... Damn! I don't remember a thing. Did I win? Oh, oh, you did, a few times. And then you lost everything. What are you talking about? I've got it all here! Yeah, because I gave it back to you. You were crying that you promised your wife you'd stop playing and, and she'd leave you and have the priest denounce you from the pulpit. Well, I certainly wouldn't want that. It's true. I get carried away with those dice sometimes. Now it seems I drink too much too. I'd better quit. True. Just imagine, if I weren't such a good Christian and didn't give you your coin back... Where would you be now? Hmm. I'd have to leave the country for shame. A guardian angel watched over me. I'll never play dice again. And I'll stop drinking. To excess. So often. I knew you'd see the light, Ambrose. God go with you. God be with you. I'll never drink again. Uh. I can't go on the road like this. I wouldn't survive it. Good heavens, what's all this? Candles? Henry! I went to see the tailor's wife. Oh. I think it turned out well. Ambrose admitted he was overdoing it. That's great news, Henry. I think this is exactly what... How are things going up? You wouldn't believe what happened. One of the bathhouse went... Oh? She said she wanted to find a different job. She said she decided to change her life. See what you're capable of? Our Lady didn't pick you for nothing. You help everyone around you. I That's very sweet of you. If only there were more like that, though. How do you mean? I mean, more people who want to find a better, more... If only we could help them. I might know of someone. There's this prostitute in Ledechko. Adela, her name is. And how do you know her? I happened across her by chance when I was tracking the Neuhoff. Hmm. Don't look at me like that. She was mixed up with one of them and I had to question her. I wouldn't say she was particularly happy though. That sounds promising, Henry. We should try and help her. Hmm. I'm not sure to give up what she's doing. If she works at the baths, she'll surely have knowledge of some... What basic thing? No, she'd know about healing wounds. You're right. Henry, good luck then. God be with you, Henry. My word, Johanka. That speech of yours on the square. <laughs> so, what do you think? 
Was it... all right? Uh, it was a bit weird. You sounded completely different than your usual self. Really intense and sort of mystical. It was a bit much. It was very confusing. Flames and demons and... But did you really dream all that? Yes, I did. That's exactly what the Virgin... All I did was repeat. What about other people? I'd say they liked it. Everyone was quite... Oh. That's a good thing, isn't it? And do you think it made sense? That it was clear what I wanted to say? Oh, yes. Clear as day. We must prepare to do battle with demons. I think you miss... We must... Aha. Right. I get it now. I'm glad you did. Thank you, Hen. So am I. How is Mat I think he's sometimes... I just hope... Nah, he'll pull... Where did all those... People have been bringing flowers. People give whatever... Why are they doing it? Well, I think it's like some... And they come seeking advice, too. They want me to bless them. Someone asked me to bless them, others asked, and it seems to me I'm at a loss what to do. Well, I hope it doesn't get out of hand. You know how people are. Someone might be offended. Maybe. But these people are acting of their own free will. But I don't bless anyone in- Sure. That of course not. What? Do I look like a bishop? <laughs> no. And he'd have a fit if he saw something like- I see things are looking up for you. You even got a roof over you. I'm glad you don't have to sleep in that stable anymore. And it seems the overseer coughed up a groschen or two in the end, eh? Ah, uh, yes. I'm glad too, but it's a little bit complicated. Monastery affairs, you know. I. W what about the custodian? Is he leaving you alone now? Yes, yes. He hasn't been here for a while. Can we just talk about something else, please? What's got into you? You're not yourself at all. Is something wrong? Oh, Henry. If only you knew. What's the matter? Sir Sebastian. He kept coming here, always bringing me gifts. I was completely worn out from everything. And he was the only one here who showed me any sympathy. <laughs> Any understanding. He was quite kind, actually. And then once... More than once, I... Went with him. Then he had this room cleared out. And gave it to me. But I won't tell anyone, I promise. But what you did was bad. Whatever the reason. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me, but it's all over. I swear, since I started having those dreams, I haven't been with him. I sold all the things he gave me and bought food and supplies for the sick. I still feel terrible about it. I think maybe it's because of me that Matthias isn't getting better. If I had been more virtuous. Now don't be so hard on yourself. The important thing is, you ended it, and you tried to make amends. I'm so ashamed, Henry. Please forgive me, and don't tell Matthias or anyone else, I beg you. I won't breathe a word. I promise. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. I feel relieved for telling you. You're so understanding. Good luck, then. Please, go away. I don't feel like talking to anyone now. I... I need to be alone for a while. It's no use crying over spilt milk. What's done is done. You ended it, and that was the right thing. Now forget it and move on. You have an important mission. I appreciate your sincerity. You might have put it more sensitively, but you're right. Goodbye.
That's him. Hey, you. Don't move him. Got you at last. Now you'll get what's coming to you. What? Don't play the innocent. I have witnesses who saw you in the act of murder. Never mind your other crimes. Personally, I'd rather string you up. But unfortunately, all I can do is throw you in jail. Are you pulling my pizzle? Don't you know who I am? You better watch your step, or I'll make things so hot for you, you'll be lucky to get a job slopping out piss pots. But I was just... You... You misunderstood me. Sorry. You can go. <laughs> Gorva beats.
Don't move a muscle. Is that all you can uh. find? No, you're moving. Way. Back trouble. 